We are still discussing when men go for oh. years and, uh, and come back home and hope to be reconciled with their families. And in Nigerian women, many times accepts and receives them back with, with, with joy and happiness. Many of them even testify in churches that, ah, my husband was gone for 20 years, now he's back. Um, BC Obiajuli was there to join the conversation. She said that, um, I saw on social media yesterday, this man woke up from jazz after 30 years and started shouting that he doesn't know his wife, that she's a stranger and was calling the name of his first wife, Ginika. That's, her, that's the name. So obviously, based on what this video that uh, BC is referring to, it's possible the, the, it was jazz for 30 years. Mm. He woke up, the jazz faded off, faded, faded off, right? And then the wife, he's calling wife, he doesn't recognize her anymore. He's like, ah, where is Ginika? Where is, because that's remember, mm. that's what mm. that's the person he remembers from his wife. So, according to, the there's a point to this story, this jazz exists and people actually no, that's that's the dementia. Yes. Good, there's a <laughs> twist. It could be dementia and see <laughs> dementia. Mm, why would, would you just heal mm. from dementia like that? No, 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 I want to say this. You know that I've been holding <laughs> since before we went on break. This idea of jazz, Kayamata, the devil, mm. has been used and abused and as excused by men. Mm. You would go out in your philandering ways, come back home and say, it wasn't me. I don't know. The devil just, it something just takes over. Or, you go and come back and you say, the woman must have done something. And that's what the excuse is. And we women have accepted, a lot of women have accepted this excuse for so long. We have abdicated the fact that the woman has common sense to say that there is a spiritual power, that there, has been manipu there is a manipulation. I'm not saying there is no manipulation because we are in Africa and in Africa we believe there is manipulation. So there is this manipulation that has converted your husband from being a responsible man into being a serial cheat that is a trans, transgenerational course on his life. I'm telling you prayer points Ancestral. you will hear. Mm. Ancestral, his father, great that's grandfather, how. that's how the men in the family are. They always have several women. They have head of women, all <laughs> They have head of women, we should pray and God should deliver them. And women are the ones carrying the burden mm. yeah. of an irresponsible man mm. who has not taken responsibility for his life. And he's blaming jazz and blaming some spiritual powers instead of you just taking your own life and take responsibility for your life and move with your own life on generations. Women and children. The oh, children you. suffer okay. so much. The template becomes and the template for the children. don't talk about mm -hmm. Let me the take this call from Lisa. So she calls back Okearo. Good morning, yes. Lisa from Okearo. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Oh, awesome. You're live. Go ahead, please. You, ladies. God bless you. I enjoy your program. Thank you, ma. Concerning the woman that testified in the church that the husband left for maybe 20 years and the man returned. Personally, that testimony is not biblical. When God Almighty <laughs> says practical. something is not good, it is not good. He said, man and woman should stay together. They should not separate. Mm -hmm. How can somebody live for 20 years and come back? Exactly. <laughs> it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Thank God that the woman did not return with stroke. Mm -hmm. How yeah, was this woman when the man left? Mm -hmm. There are times, maybe it could be because of ordination. There are times, women, when they want to be ordained, because, because you are a single parent, they will not ordain you, this and that. It could even be the reason why she was even happy that the man is even back home. Many things is hidden. God will help us in this office, but it's not Africa. Thank you, it's very much. Thank you very much. Can I just say one more thing? Um, Joy Isibewaji posted something, I think about two days ago, I read it. It was very funny. He said, How do men think that they would get, they think that when we, this heaven thing, that, you know, this in his church testimony mm -hmm. we we're discussing, you would come back, you would testify with your wife and thank God that you don't know what happened to you. Is it that you get to heaven that God that sees everything? We judge you differently from how he judges men, because, judges women, because women are meant to be faithful. It's frowned upon if a woman cheats. But a man expects that I will serve God and cheat, and then God will suddenly, on judgment day, all of us will just be okay. We are not willing to look at it from another perspective. Somebody on um, YouTube Can is saying, I? is asking this, was, sorry, please, I, I would yield in a few minutes, was asking that this jazz is real. Mariam, face it. 
I said, so, oh, how come it's men? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that you should face the, the reality of the jazz being real. That how come <laughs> men are the ones getting jazzed? And if a woman gets mm -hmm. jazzed and goes to meet, a, marries another man, he comes back home, very rarely would the man be waiting for 10 years or even five years exactly. for the woman mm -hmm. to come back home. So this jazz only applies to one faction of the sex in this world. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and I was going to say, let me go for Alade, thanks for calling your live. Hello, Alade. Hello, good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, see, um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this show. First time? So, huge okay. fan. Uh, a huge, huge fan. Okay. I'm, I'm Thank you. He's a first time caller. First time caller, welcome to the show. All uh, right, you see, uh, I'm going to just drop this here. Good Every morning. man has a high tendency to be. You know, you see tons of women outside every day. Forget you have a happy home, forget you have a good place here. You just yeah, need that. Yeah, I know most women will argue. You know, it depends on how well or perhaps how far you can cope with that. So here's the key difference between a cheating man and a cheating woman, okay? A man can cheat and still love the wife or partner passionately. It's hard for women to cheat and still love their man. Who told you that? Who told you that? It's hard for women to cheat. <laughs> Who told you that? Right. There was the empirical study that men can cheat and still love their wife and women cannot love their husband and still cheat. Like, that, I've yeah. heard that thing several times, but like, what's the science behind it? Yeah, I'm just, just to be that you. Honest. It's a narrative that supports men. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> science so, that so, so, what, good morning, Yeni. So men live, even when you are together, and when things do not work for them, or when they become broke or old, and broke. the side chicks mm -hmm. do not want them, they come exactly. crawling back, expecting their wives to accept them mm. as if them. All, it has been well. Yeah. I've seen women with their husbands going through emotional and physical separation. May God help women. Yes, okay. Maya, we're going to I didn't know have a question. Sorry, Wait, what are you doing? Okay. Okay. So this jazz that affects you that you forget your wife, do you forget your business? Do you forget your friends? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you forget to take trips? Do you forget ah, to do the fun things you love? Yeah. Or do you suddenly become a farmer? You like, does that eat? jazz, <laughs> do you understand? Does that take in. everything? That just, just, it only removes just that, you that from, from your wife, wife and, your, and maybe mm, your children. Yes. Because some will... But also Kaya Mata only removes children. you from moods. Kaya Mata is very specific to one thing to do. So maybe that's what they have just... Let Mariam okay. redefine Kaya Mata. Yeah. No, no, Mariam cannot <laughs> redefine Kaya Mata. But you told me that Kaya Mata in the is not meant okay, to okay, be... Okay, okay, you mean that... Uh, <laughs> okay, because I know... <laughs> I'm don't telling you, why you put it on me. <laughs> but, but, you know, yes, there are things... Aphrodisiacs is what they are mainly yeah. known for. Well, of course, over time, we would hear some people say, oh, they go to someone who will pray over it or someone who has said something over it and they've used it. And for me, I just believe that they're just excuses. And I was going to also refer to the point, uh, part where you said you, you know, when you go to heaven, judgment day, they will bring out the Old Testament for God and say, God, <laughs> <laughs> see, yeah, they have, I mean, they have too many, leave that to they have too yeah. many excuses. And then to our caller that said that women feel differently. It, I, society made women that way. So that's the suppression Maria mentioned earlier. There's a societal suppression. Mm -hmm. There's some, many things that women cannot get away with. A man can go away for 30 years and come back home, home, to that same home, to that same wife, to so those same children. Yeah. A woman can go away for three months, and that's the end of that life as she There's knows no it. There's no more house. There's no forgiveness. Can you say that louder? For people of the man, there's no more house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 just saying, like, now. that life that she knows is Some gone forever. Gone. Three months. But and uh, the uh, woman, Maryam, no, no, I, I think you're being subjective. No, no, there's some men that actually forgive their wives. Okay, can I finish? Let the world hear that she has gone for three months. They will make sure that man does not get her, does not take her back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it can be done if it happens knows. silently, Absolutely. many men have taken many women back silently. But if the world knows that she's yeah. been out of that house for one day with a man, they put it on social media. There's nothing that woman can do. She will never take her back. <laughs> she's not happy in that home because she's going to push her. She will yeah. 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 give him the license. I, 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 I disagree. Yeah. Right. So men, so men actually will take their wives back. Yeah. Um, After cheating or just leaving home. Even after cheating, I haven't found cheating. any. But I, I, I haven't seen any. Let me pause after that. Buki, Buki is calling from Bagada. I'll come back to that. Oh, I'm so sorry, Buki. Can we? Hello, Buki. I really want to talk to Buki. I'm so sorry about that. Let's go back to this the thought you just said concerning uh, men taking back their wives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheat. Do they? Do you actually think they will? I'm sure that they will. I'm sure that some men will actually take back their wives, because what well, if they will not? If they will not, why? When a woman leaves a man. Mm. Mm? Because of another man. Why is that man always still resentful and 
there is always still that chemistry. Ego. Sour grapes and ego. No, it's not just ego. Sour grapes there is and always, ego. And there is still that chemistry with the woman. Come on. Some men will take their wives back. But do you know any? And, and when they yes, do, it's the same way that they say uh, uh, she has used gas on him. It's the same way. Wow. They say it. Yes. We will say it. I, like, I oh, know that someone you, that, that, they, that yes, the woman they, they had to bring my man. mom to come and say to the caller, the husband actually came to meet his mother-in-law to beg his mother-in-law that he doesn't know what he, he has to do, but his, his wife keeps cheating, going and coming back. Really? And then yeah, the said, true life, uh, like, uh -huh. and, and the mother-in-law no, did not know what to men. do okay, there are no and called my mom into the scenario. They asked, yeah, but they are very few, but they are. Felix, I'll come to you. Sweet zero zero. That's why they always abusing us on this table, that we always favor women. Felix, thanks for coming to Bonham. Okay, that was Generally speaking, we're saying generally speaking. Hello, Mr. Felix, are you there? Yeah. Go ahead, please, you're live. Okay, good morning. Morning. Yeah, I, I want you to understand there yeah, that there are spirituals that exist. Spiritual, yeah. In this, yeah, spiritual exists. So the world yeah. of that higher matter and the um, mm. husband leaving the house, it's true. It exists. It's it true. Exists in this, yes, it's very true. Wow. But it's not, it, I'm specific. So when people say, okay, why did he not miss his business? Why did he not lose other things? Why is it just it's specific for that purpose? For mm. that particular purpose, that was it. Okay. I had somebody who said that uh, uh, a man woke up and in the morning and said, "Ha, ah, this is not the wife I'm married. I'm married." So there are charms, I so we must take that as true and in fact. So let's not let us not disclose that. But okay. the issue now is, to many years, the time that it took, if it took maybe ten years, five years, and all that, the woman can make up her mind to say, "Ah, I just need more." I need to go on. This person coming back again uh, is something else. Something can still take him back after okay. that same home. Why is it can still take him back from that same home. The Kayamata can still come back. So it is better for okay. the woman. I have your message. Allowed. Thank you very much, much Mary. Felix. Yes, YK. I have a message from Chief Odunto. He says, YK, a man can cheat and still love his wife. I can take my wife back if she cheats. Okay, okay, that's good. That, that, this is Chief Odunto. We all know him. Yeah. No, did you so say his name? I, I, I said I'm going to read it out loud. He said, yes, please. There's, said, yes, there's an article I would like us to also go back to. Okay. Because um, I had talked about the fact that women, some women choose to stay. Yes. Or choose to accept the men back. Yeah. And I think it was, I mean, I was saying something about that it's their choice and they should, they should, they should allow that choice. And I was saying mm -hmm. that the choice is because society doesn't give them too many options. So the fact that you choose to stay or take back a man, it's not because you really deep down in your heart, to your core, want to take that man back. Because you are hurt. But because society tells you, expects you to be thankful he came back. Mm -hmm. Society expects you to be grateful he came back. So because of that, you take him back. Not because you really, really want. Because left to you, you'd rather mm -hmm. just have remarried and m moved on. But society and, and expects you to make that choice and, your children. And, and you know, that also brings up the topic of when you do wait and choose to take the person back, what sort of marriage happens Afterwards. after then? Mm. Because we've heard of bitter wives that when the man is sick, she treats him horribly yeah. because of what he put her through. So do we even want that? Mm. You know, because it does not end. Hey, we go to, the, uh, to church, thank God he's home, and then mm. we're now home, and then you they give you, yes, <laughs> before every time you're falling ill, mm. or there's no, you're sick and no one comes to see you mm. in hospital. So it's really better for us to make the decision to be truly happy. Mm. If bringing him home sure. or if waiting for him to come home would not bring me any happiness, then we should stop encouraging women to do that. And a man too. You know, sometimes I say men are quite audacious. Mm. After treating a woman like that, mm. you want to come back. If I come back, if I'm the man, if I come back to the house, I won't even eat your food. I'll be too afraid to sleep in your house. <laughs> because I know what I have done and yeah. anything I receive, you know, I'll deserve it. So, but men, men don't say something like that. that. I, I think messages. they don't remember. <laughs> honestly. I think they, or they choose. The men. Yeah, they, they, they have selective amnesia and they honestly pack it or they see it so differently that even when you hear them talking and explaining, you're like, you did it to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I experienced it. Yeah. Don't try and act like that's not real, but... Mm, go ahead, like it. Yeah. So, Ade, Ade Oye, Ola Dayo says, Auntie Miriam,
try and believe jazz exists. Hey. So I, I believe in Jesus Christ. Finish, I get from where I thought that they always do it for people when I was small in the 1990s. <laughs> then, about Rushmore says, not sure, but a cheating woman will definitely destroy her husband in the short or long term. And Hafsa says, Chief Odunto, it's easier to say, may God not test you. <laughs> so, may God not Mar test you. Ma 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 Mariam said something, and you mentioned selective amnesia. I think it's just because society has allowed it. Men know that my, the women will forgive. But we've seen some things, in, and, and welcome them back. But we've seen some cases in the um, northern part of Nigeria where they marry young girls. Mm. There was a particular story we took in the paper where I think the girl was like 13 or be, between 13 and 15, and she poisoned the man. 14. 14. She poisoned the man. She poisoned the whole wedding party. Everybody. Mm. Because you, it's, it, we, we, it, it, it is when we see those kind of impacts that men will realize that, okay, I can't get away with this. It, it, abroad, if and you try, they will shoot you. No, the woman is not documented. Yes, yeah, it's well, not documented. It's well documented. People see the data. Certain when you, of young girls do this. Maybe when they, they marry, the when you marry them off yeah. with, the illegally, we don't have the data. There are also cases wow, where, right. even in Nigeria right now, there are some women that are poisoning their husbands small, small inside the house <laughs> right so, now so, that so, they are so, watching so, us like this. And some men, yes, now there's the point that you will not, you will not kill immediately. That you will be doing small, small. I don't know what it is, though. Well, uh, don't I, I we <laughs> but we have read the stories that there are small, small things they put that will be causing the person to like. We, we, uh, in That's movies, the they say ill. cyanide. That if you that it don't call names. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. <laughs> but in movies. But anyway, these things kill, yes. and some women, some men are going to be dying small, small. They don't know that it is. They are eating the poison, not spiritual killing. It is the yeah, woman is intentionally some, hurting you back. Too much spiritual things. Yes. If you're spiritual, and I, I can't speak to Christianity because I'm Muslim, and I'll speak to Islam in a second, but if you're a Christian, at least from all I hear, right, you believe in God, you, you, know, you call the blood of Jesus to wash things away, <laughs> how can you also believe in jazz? Oh. It's contradictory. Mm. They, they so say I, I would us. say at a minimum, you can say, oh, I know that the devil exists and has powers, but that cannot touch me and my family yeah, and my exactly. family. That's I'm covered by to Jesus. <laughs> so now in Islam... Yes, a man can marry up to four wives mm -hmm. and treat them equally. So again, when you were talking about northern women, mm -hmm. it's not considered cheating because there would be the conversation with the wife. Mm -hmm. It's an approval system. Yes. Yes. It's not that you go out and you sneak around. It's, yes. I am the type of man that may want more than one wife. Mm -hmm. Are you the type of wife that will be able to cope with that? And for some, it never happens. But for those who want it, by the time they start dating, their wife will never talk about cheating because she already knows no, it's expected. Can I ask you a personal question? Yes. <laughs> Would you accept a second wife? Or personally you... not. I'm, I'm just but not. But you're Muslim now. Yeah, but I just said personally not because it doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a monogamous home. It was my father and my mother separated by death. Wow. Two months apart. Mm. Wow. So I don't know anything else. Um, so it's foreign to me. Who died first? My, my dad. And two months to the date, wow. my mother passed away. Yeah, so it's foreign to me. But if I had a husband who treated me well, who's kind to me, who takes care of our children, who takes care of our home, and it had been a conversation, Elio. then I'll be like, you know what he said? It's, so it's not a lie. Yeah. He's not deceiving me. I don't know how I would receive it, but all those things are not present, and then there's going to be a second wife. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, thank you. Alone is better. <laughs> my, um, a former teacher sends me this. Says, One brought home a side chick he found in church. As he I sent this her. message, she was forced to leave. leave. Now he wants her back after the new wife dealt with him. And now he is uh. He's begging his wife to come back. Her grown up children have refused her to come back. Put him in a nursing home. Exactly. It's and I'm looking for a nudge. I want to yeah, touch yeah, him. I want to touch him. I want to touch him. I want to touch him. Jazz again. Because mm. well, like, I'm going to wrap up on this very support. I'd like us to just touch on it one more time. Because I read a very heartbreaking story this morning on social media about a man who um, was planning to relocate to the UK. Mm. His whole family spent a lot of money. I think he was going first. And then as he arrived in the UK, he died. Mm. So... Of course, people say that they followed him, they put jazz, you know, they, something happened. Because he's in the UK, of course, they're trying to do an autopsy to know what happened. It's possible some kind of a heart condition, and the mm -hmm. lining heart treatment, or the stress of the trip, or some kind of the weather. So there's a probably, they're probably going to come up with a reason. But because nobody understood the reason, mm -hmm. they automatically began to say that it was jazz. That mm -hmm. it's these family people, they followed him mm -hmm. to the airport. You, um, 
Sometimes the edge of breakthrough. That's in it. Yes. We call the edge of breakthrough. Yeah, they follow them to the edge of breakthrough. They will pray against it. Pray against, pray against, pray against. Things that will take you. Enemy at the point of breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are the prayer points no, no, now. No, no. I don't pray those prayers anymore. Yeah, the point of break, breakthrough. <laughs> that the point power of breakthrough. That, so as Christians, we live in powers and principalities. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? But we also know that with Christ, you know, we, we are protected. And we can call on God and he will protect us. But the way we speak about it in Nigeria... It's almost like God's power ceases to exist once just um, it's yeah. in the picture. So that's why I don't understand when Christians say, oh, but there is jazz, and he can hold you ransom for 30 years, and that person will go to church every day of his life, back and forth, raising their children in Christ, mm -hmm. but that particular jazz has held him to side cheeks. So you see, it, does not, <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense. So that's why yeah. this jazz is not... It's not consistent, yeah. it's not. you know. It's not. And as you know, as you mentioned, the jazz does not stop you from enjoying life and doing all the nice things. But it's just that your jazz really is against your women family. and the happiness of the union and the happiness of your children. So for me, that's why jazz. Mm. I don't believe, as he said, this person that what happened to him, it could be an illness. And I yeah. wish, and I we don't know if the family would, would agree for an autopsy to be done, but it will help us you know, going forward to understand the sort of things that we mm. believe in mm. and what to question, you know. Mm. Okay, we're going to wrap up on this, but I think in a nutshell, um, we had started with a story um, differently, but we ended up talking about this issue of women um, waiting for 20 plus years or even 10 years, 15 years for a man who has abandoned them and they're happily taking him back. And we're saying, okay, on what, on what basis are you taking him back? Others are grateful they made that choice to stay with their children and they're grateful that they are back, that their husbands are back. Others are saying that I can choose to move on with my life. I don't have to take you back. I don't have to, I don't need you back in my life. So either way, society must just be, uh, I think it's a deception we talked about earlier that mm -hmm. you, when, whatever decision you make, make sure it's, both of you have agreed to that decision and it's consensual and both of you can then decide on how to move on with that relationship. Uh, oh, I think I have a caller, final caller on this very wrap-up. Good morning, Andrew. Sorry for keeping you. Okay, I lost that call. So that's all we can take on this topic. When we come back, we'll move on to another topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.